When it comes to tracking mountain lions in Utah, there is no one more qualified than McLean Meekum. For more than 50 years, this Meekum family has helped the state of Utah track, capture, and release hundreds of mountain lions all over this great state in order to better understand and protect these sometimes misunderstood yet magnificent creatures. For the past 10 years, McLean has been capturing and attaching radio and GPS units to lions so that Dr. Michael Wolf and his top PhD student Dave Stoner from Utah State University can study the roaming patterns of these elusive creatures that literally live amongst us. GPS data retrieved from these special callers has brought unprecedented insight into the actual roaming patterns of these lions which has shown that at times they are closer neighbors than once thought. When Be All Over TV heard about this down-to-earth mountain lion tracker McLean Meekum and his team, we knew we not only had to meet these guys, but we had to go into the mountains around Salt Lake City and learn more about these beautiful animals for ourselves. Just doing a quick uh, cougar hunt up here with the cougar experts, kind of crazy. Uh, B, as you know, we got quite a bit of, bit of experience with the, the large, large cats. That goes without saying, being from Canada and B, being from Tennessee. So we're gonna head up here, see what's going on, somewhere between seven uh, to 15 large cats. Uh, try to corner some, you know, dart them. I like to use a tranquilizer when I do that. That's, that's pretty much a standard issue, old school for these guys. But uh, we'll see what happens, see what we can't find today up here at Camp Williams, where they make it happen. McLean and Tony, I mean, they're the most genuine guys you ever cool. meet. They're the real thing. Hey, Michael B. and everybody, it's me, Danny Noatel here. I'm up with uh, Mike and Dave at Camp Williams hunting cougars. And as most of you know, the cougar is the, the state animal. Uh, I don't have to tell you guys that. Cougar's not quite the state animal. The California it, gull is the state animal. Yeah. Well, they're both mammals, so that's good. <laughs> well, that's, the interesting thing is, and uh, these guys know, know better than I do, although I do have uh, quite a bit of background with some of the larger mammals, but uh, why are we actually tracking cougars up here? Why do you do it, and, and who do you do it for or with, Mike? Initially, the study started as a way, how, can, how, many, how do you count cougars and this sort of thing? How many are out there for management purposes? It kind of evolved into looking at a comparison between hunted and unhunted populations, hunted down south, uh, and unhunted basically on this military property and the Kennecott property. Well, the bigger thing right now is what's going to happen as suburbia encroaches upon some of these areas. And so that's one of the things that's going on. How many are in this area, do you think, if you had to give a guess? As on that? our study area? Yeah. Oh, probably about a dozen or so. Okay. And it's interesting. A lot of the viewers may not be aware of this, but uh, um, mountain lions run in packs. Kind of crazy. The, is that what they call them? And, uh, not, no, no, I don't actually, want to they're get pretty solitary. Oh, they are then. They're okay. solitary. So that's the what only thought. thing is we had a camera crew out here many years ago, and they happened to find five animals running together, which was totally unusual. See, that's video. probably what I'm basing it on, the research that yeah. I did. After learning more about why these cougars are being tracked and studied, it was time for us to actually go into the mountains for ourselves and do some real mountain lion tracking with the legendary McLean Meekum and his team of highly trained dogs and houses. One of these lions' colors got a different frequency, so we can check. And this particular lion's got a GPS color on. We're going to see if we can get her found today and change it. like she's over here. So we're at, at the highest point here now so it gives us quite an advantage when we're trying to locate these lines if it's a one we're trying to change the color on. Uh, from right here we can uh, we should be able to get her if she's on this side. There's another hole right down off the side here that these lions like to use a little bit, so I think we'll just walk off here and check it and see if she's in it or been to it last night, and then we'll move on. Okay, now, McLean, when you say in it, uh, but I'm just going to throw this out there, and you're the legend, but maybe this would be a good time where we get uh, some of your highly trained dogs and have them look in the hole. No. no. Zero. She's not there. Hadn't been here. 